Hey chickies, okay today we are doing a tennis ball mini. Now this is in celebration for the Australian Open coming to a close. I also want to congratulate Angelique Kerber on her first Grand Slam win uh, and it was against Serena Williams so that's pretty epic for her. Uh, I, I'm not a huge sporty, I'm not even a sports fan really. I don't really watch sport, I find it boring. I don't do sport because you know nails I don't want to break them <laughs> gosh no like I walk and jog and stuff but I don't you know I don't want to have to catch a ball or anything because you know I might break nails so anyway but I'm perfectly happy to paint that tennis balls on my nails so anyway let's get into it it's really easy I hope you like it so the polishes for this one are all from floss gloss the white base is mrs. Tony Montana and then the green for the tennis ball which I, by the way is the most perfect tennis ball color I've ever seen and then that is called Con Limon and then the other color that I'm using for the lines of the tennis ball is called Moon Baby again a perfect color choice if I do say so myself which I didn't make them so I can't really take credit oh well starting on the ring finger now we're going to take the bright yellow polish and using the brush from the polish bottle we're going to start at sort of around the middle of the side of the nail and then sweep that down towards the corner on the opposite side and that will create your sort of little peekaboo tennis ball super easy so next up once your tennis ball is completely dry you want to come in with a light gray polish I, of course I'm using moon baby by floss gloss I'm also using my Edinburgh realism brush and we're going to create some curved lines and that will actually make it look like a tennis ball. As you can see from the first shot, the middle nail is completely covered in that bright yellow polish and we're going to create some curved lines using the grey polish to create a full sort of tennis ball nail on this one. And once all of that is completely dry, you can go ahead and seal it in with a good quality top coat. I, of course, am using Sesh Feet as per usual. Just a side note as well, I did add a matte top coat over the top of that afterwards because I thought it looked more authentic that way. And that's it for this one. I really hope you like it. I actually ended up wearing it for a couple of days. I liked it so much because <laughs> it was so bright and it's summer here. So yay. Anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye chickies. I want to thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.